Who deserves Thunder Fury in Season of Discovery? Thunder Fury, the Blessed Blade of the Windseeker, <laughs> the singular most iconic weapon in all of classic WoW, True. and the target of many yep. classes. Hey guys, Ebon Sauce here. Once mm. the most coveted weapon of all warriors in the occasional robe, uh -huh. Thunder Fury is now standing on a precipice of insanity if I dare say it. For no longer yep. is warrior prior a thing, for there are reasons why someone could justify taking this glorious mm. weapon. But there are three ways to break this down. Okay. Option one, will Thunder Fury be changed to just be a slightly stronger version? AKA a stat buff. Option two, Should will it they completely be remade, thus changing which of the four classes initially listed can use it best? Or I, I don't know if they should change it, man. I feel like Thunder Fury is so gosh darn good just as it is, though, man. It's a really fast weapon, really good for tanking with the with the debuff that it brings, and it's also actually the the best offhand for a rogue. Option 3. Will they buff it into a whole new kind of weapon, but increase the class limit on it? Hunter and what do Fury. What options mean for you? Warrior number 4 and Paladin uh -huh. number 3 in your respective guilds. Do you guys still have a chance to get it? Or will the greedy hunters and rogues <laughs> claim prior on this beautiful, tantalizing, and amazing weapon? Yet Wait, what? Dude, you bet your ass hunters are gonna try to get in on that. Ignoring all of that, do hunters even deserve Thunder Fury? Mm -hmm. Even if they somehow make it to phase 4 or phase 5 with no more nerfs and just buffs? Should uh, hunters be given the honor of touching this beautiful weapon? Some of you may say yes, some of you may say no, and some of you may say it's not fucking Hunter Prior. And to that I say, you are okay. all correct. If okay. it's the top DPS class by a large margin, some guilds may perchance yeah. grace their hunters with this iconic weapon. But for the most part, nah. I don't care how OP hunters are, I will die before I give a single hunter a Thunder Fury. And it's Dude, I mean, they're gonna get it, man. Okay, hunters should never touch that. I mean, isn't the best spec hunter, like melee hunter, you you bet oh my god i can't even wait for the drama man there, there you know there's gonna be so much drama revolving that gosh darn weapon man who's gonna get the bindings who's gonna be prio we're gonna have so many different classes now what's up andrews hunters gms right now to yeah they're looking good the pump. And yeah it, it does look like rogues are like in a dagger meta for the most part with mutilate and stuff so maybe that maybe rogues aren't gonna be who am i even talking what am i talking about it's 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 literally a legendary. Of course they're gonna want it. Okay, you know, never mind. All the hunters I know are great people. It is just out of principle. As mm -hmm. Lord Farquaad enlightened us all. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Yep. And I know it's going to it's be okay, a very Andrews. detailed breakdown on why hunters deserve this weapon the most. With math, calculus, quantum mm -hmm. physics, and whatnot proving the hunters getting this will give them a 274% damage boost. Don't care, be mad. Okay. Next. That only covers one of the many pretenders claiming to deserve Thunder Fury more than mm -hmm. all the other classes. So let's move on to the next one. Okay. Paladins. For the longest time... If Dude, it's not a Paladin weapon, okay? Like, I don't even want... Dude, th th there is no... Th th it is not a Paladin weapon, man. Are you crazy? If you even try to give a Player power. over class? I mean, let's be honest. Yes, I agree. The... <sighs> The weapons that these things go to is usually officers or guild masters or guild masters' girlfriends, okay? That's pretty much it. Should there be some certain prios on specific classes? Yeah, probably because they have more prio on, like, they're better on certain classes, right? Like a tank warrior is going to be juiced up with a threat, right? But it's usually just, like, the importance of the person, right? Thunder Fury. Your entire guild loot council would laugh you out of the Discord. Tank warlock? Because as tragic as a was. Wait. Oh no, can Warlocks use swords? Wait, they can, right? Oh no. Yeah, we got a whole new contender for the item. In classic paladins were not like Arthas or Uther. They were nothing but sad husks for anything mm. that wasn't holy paladin and the one token rep player who cosplayed as a Giga Chad. But now <laughs> in season In Discovery, I'm Paladins sorry, that are actually so not good. just attempting to cosplay her Paladin players, but getting man. close to simulate. Your Paladin tank with his consecration, his holy powers and more uh, is actually quite legitimately yep. a serious contender for Thunder Fury. They have every reason why they now actually deserve it, regardless of which of the three initial options the SOD dev team chooses to do. They can mm -hmm. walk a line of true heroism, of actually being able to find a set at the table that was once dominated by 39 warriors in a singular rogue. Okay. Which brings us on to the next person who must be discussed. Rogues. Sneaky uh -huh 
conniving, bastardized caricatures who make play- Wait, he put Peyo on when he- Even hard. Peyo's not gonna like that. Playing on the PvP server, Cancer. The PV rogues are actually cool. It's the PvPers who are the problem. If only their parents loved them more so they didn't continue the cycle of generational trauma. These okay. gnome and forsaken rogues were created by the previous generation of gnome uh -huh. and forsaken rogues who camped in grief. Yet, I am not here to yeah. rant about rogues. I am here to debate their worthiness of wielding Thunder Fury. Blessed Ooh. Blade of the Windseeker. And rogues are so now good. not just worth it for more than just memes. Rogue tanks are a genuine thing, which means they mm. have a legitimate True. claim for this weapon. And yes, rogue tanks aren't great. They're a viable option regardless, and are fully mm -hmm. capable of main tanking all content, even if it's albeit badly. So a rogue tank has the potential of not just using Thunder Fury to its maximum yeah. extent, but to genuinely dominate with it, perhaps even making them the number one tank. Though it does but I, I, feel, I feel like rogues are just, they're, they're back, the little daggers are just a meta by a long shot, right? But I mean, maybe the sword's gonna be that good. It's a very fast sword though, so you wouldn't want to use it in your main hand as a rogue because your saber slash damage would be absolutely in the gutter. It's Thunder Fury is a really good weapon for rogue in the offhand. It's not a good main hand weapon. I haven't seen a rogue tank yet. I've seen a rogue tank like here and there, but never really like any that's performing like really good. The number one tank, though it does genuinely depend on which option the dev team goes with. But personally, mm. the only rogue who deserves it is Shobek, because I want to see more clips of him role-playing whilst <laughs> clapping people's cheeks. But this time, the thunder. But moving on, we are now onto the final class, and the class that wants to dominate the entire conversation, hey, because yo. they were the only class that could use this weapon genuinely, and mm. that is warriors. Once the undisputed yep. kings of tanking and pretty much the only viable main tank option for most of classic. True. Decked out in their plate, having prior on every and anything, running amok and being able to- I mean, decked out in their plate. I mean, even warrior tanks, they're decked out in leather, man. Okay, because it's all about the threat, okay? It's not about the mitigation because you're gonna get through that with all your world buffs and your everything like that. It's just about how much threat can you do, and that's why that's why Thunder Fury is really good because it's like a threat Whatever god. Whatever they want, like a school bully out of an '80s flip, taking everyone's lunch money, or in this case, oh, that's case, a bully game, right? Because in quotation marks, it's bis close quotation marks. And they honestly, as much as it pains me to admit it, deserved it at the time when the deepest yeah. options of a classic were so heavily and disproportionately in their favor. But that's mm -hmm. the problem after all this time. They are not the undisputed kings anymore. Not nope. on damage, not on tanking, not on anything really. At least not on Season of Discovery. And no, at, least two, at least not in this phase at the moment. And don't get me wrong, Warrior is still objectively great and very strong. They're just not the dominating king. Yep. Now, perhaps with level 60 and new runes and new items, they'll go back to being the very top, claiming perhaps. their throne of loot and corpses. But will they? Because as it stands oh, yeah, sure. right now, my warrior boys are being pushed to the wayside. Like Andy in Toy Story, the classic player base isn't vibing with warriors anymore. Like, people, listen, man, people that play warrior, man, they don't actually like playing warrior. They like topping the meters, okay? Like, you're not a warrior main, you're a DPS meter main, okay? And that's just the truth, dude. The, all the people maining warriors in Classic WoW, they don't actually like warrior. They like topping the meters, okay? And I must admit, I like that too, okay? Like, that's the whole that's the whole thing about warrior. If you're not on top of the meters, they're not fun, man, okay? That, that's what they're all about. Which brings us to the interregnum. Who I amongst guess the four original classes deserve Thunder Fury the most? Hmm. And to that, my good friends, there are two options. The yep. first one is obvious. Your main tank that shows up all the time. It's a no-brainer. You give it... That, sh that should be the main one, man. Whoever's main tanking, give them the Thunder Fury, To the person right? that's going to keep raiding after they get it. The second yep. one is much harder, though. Because amongst all four classes, who has the most claim to this ancient weapon? And that... Yeah, the Guildmaster's girlfriend. The yep. answer is everyone except hunters. Now, I could pick one class and give you my opinion, and I think it's warriors because I used to main mm -hmm. one. But as it stands, all three current tanks that can utilize the weapon all deserve it equally. The yeah. warriors and rogue tanks are much worse than paladins, at least as of now. Now, though, that we've answered the first half of the equation, okay. it's time for us to dive into the second part. What if they increase the amount of classes they can use Thunder Fury? Oh, yeah. What if shamans, warlocks, and druids could use Thunder Fury? What if melee hunter unlocks a tank spec? I still wouldn't give it to a hunter. But the other oh, three 
give a whole new look at the class that deserves Thunder Fury. Mm. It changes the math. It changes the lore and gameplay. A warlock tank wielding Thunder oh, Fury gosh. would be an amazing sight. It would be like a shittier version of Illidan and the Warblade. A shadow <laughs> one would be like Thrall, except instead of a massive hammer or bullshit, a Thunder Fury. Plus dude, th dude, a shaman with Thunder Fury would be sick. But they, yeah, they can wield swords, obviously. But imagine that, man. The Blade of the Windseeker. Holy. And then bears. The red-headed stepchild of tanks in Season of Discovery. So much potential, but just not there yet. Mm. Bears wielding Thunder Fury would be, in my personal opinion, amazing, tantalizing, phenomenal, and aggrand. If you're watching this, I'll slide you $10 if you let Bears be able to- Okay, that's weird, man. No, I'm not, not because I'm, not. I'm a Bear main or a Druid main, just because I think it would be healthy for the game. No ulterior motives at all. Yet, between the OG4 or the new 7, which is kind of like some anime villain arc, who okay. deserves Thunder Fury? And thus, I leave it to all of you. What do you think will happen? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe or don't, may the devs watch over us. Thank you for watching. Eben Hart out. I feel like... I feel like at the end of the day, man, you should probably give it to the main tank. And I, I still think the person that's gonna like utilize it the most is probably gonna be a warrior main tank, man. I feel like it is, man. But... Stuff like this, it's not really about the class. It ain't really. It's about your status, okay? If you're a guild master, if you're an officer, if you're like a puck leader, you're probably gonna get it. It doesn't matter if you're a hunter or a warrior or a rogue. If if you if you have high status in the in the little sphere that you're raiding with, you're probably gonna get it. And that's just it, right? That's always how it's went with this. And that's why there's always drama with this. Why the hell are we giving Billy the goddamn Thunder Fury when he's a rogue? Oh, well, Billy is our, Billy is our officer in the guild. He's been here for... Well, you know, it's always like that, dude. And then there's drama because Kevin hates Billy. And then Sarah's gonna get it after Billy because Sarah is the guild, ma the guild master's girlfriend. It's gonna be great, guys. Okay, lots of drama coming. It's gonna be super fantastic. I'll link the video here. I like Kevin Hart a lot. Check out the video, guys.